Hello everybody and welcome back to today's installment of Dimensions CC, Adobe Dimensions CC and how to, you know, make stuff with it. Today we're going to talk about how to, like, you know, make bottles that aren't previously rendered there and how to put your own art on them that you created. So we're going to open up Adobe Dimensions. If you don't already have it open, click open. Mine's open. So let's say a client hires you to create like a design for them and you want to use this new program. So but, you know, let's say it's like a, a bottle of something. I don't know. There's a few bottles they have rendered here, and it's pretty limited. There, I think there's like three, maybe four different bottles. And, uh, you know, they look good, but let's say that none of these shapes work for what we're trying to do. So let's just select all, delete it, and now I'm going to show you how to make a bottle from scratch. Uh, this is a bottle that we're going to make, this one right here. Uh, we're going to do a glass bottle, and we're going to create it from this image as a 3D shape export it and then bring it into dimension. So in order to do this right, I'm going to open this with Adobe Illustrator. And that's what we're going to use to trace this. Now the reason why I don't like using Photoshop to trace in the beginning is because Adobe Illustrator uh, makes everything a nice vector. And it's a wonderful, beautiful shape. So you know I'm just going to kind of I'm going to grab some stuff here. You know I'm just uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. You know, just you guys could probably spend more time with your bottle. I just want to get like some basic ideas here. And I don't know, that, that's good enough. So I'm just going to make this to about here. I really only need this half of the bottle, so this, this other side doesn't really matter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice square. So I'm going to go over my rectangle tool. It's like to about halfway. Make this locked, invisible, so I just have these two shapes. I'm going to go to the Shape Builder tool, hold Option. I'm just going to subtract these two shapes. Select the shape I have left. Change its color so I can you know, see it. I'm going to go to 3D, Effect, 3D, Revolve. And Set everything to zero, zero, zero. Let's preview it. And uh, it's weird. Why is it uh, making it so dark like that? Okay, right. that's, that's good enough. So I don't know why the top is clear. It seems a little strange. Um, but, you know, it's, it's good enough for us to work with. So we're going to save this, go to our models, go to designs. And we're just going to shave this as the uh, 3D shape. Start. Okay. That's an AI file. So AI does not export anything into dimensions. It doesn't export the files it needs. It doesn't actually create 3D shapes in the way like 3D programs think about shapes. So now we're going to go to our folder, go to our design, go to our 3D art, and now we're going to open this in Photoshop. So I'm just going to drag it over to Photoshop and drop it in. Uh, sure, yes, yes to all this. Okay, so it's tight around my bottle, so I'm going to make a canvas bigger. Just because you know, I want some more space to see around it. I don't want it to be so tight. My wand tool, contiguous. And uh, I want like a solid shape, so I'm just going to make a new layer. Use my. Uh, paint bucket tool and just fill that in so there now we have a solid shape so how we're going to make this 3d is in photoshop we go to 3d and uh, make new 3d extrusion from its selected layer this is going to do a couple things it's going to open up our 3d panels let's get up see look it's already a, a 3d shape we can grab it and rotate it around it's very thick it doesn't really look like what we want so i'm going to center it i'm going to go up here to our shape presets and there's a bunch of them here, but you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it circles it all the way around. Set your deformation axis to center. And, you know, I'm going to recommend not setting the inches to zero, but just just ever so slightly above zero. Like that. I like a 0 0.012. You know, and the reason why I do this is because if you... Uh, occasionally there's problems when it comes to like, uh, 3D stuff with this, how it shapes it around, and if I do it right, it's going to look great when I bring it into dimension, and there's going to be no weird on top. 
that. Okay, so this is our bottle. Uh, that's good. It's a good bottle. So now we just go to export 3D layer and then export as a wavefront OBG. This is the file format you need in order to work with Dimension CC. So anything you want to bring into Dimension CC that's a 3D shape, it has to be an OBG file. It doesn't work with anything else. So <coughs> 3D model shape. Cool. And we don't need to save this because we have the OBG. So now we'll go back to dimensions, hit command I, we'll go up to file import, go to desktop or wherever you saved your file. Mine's on my desktop, click the OBJ file, and I open it. Look at that. Oh, well, it's not centered, so if it doesn't show up, don't worry. It's there. You can see it in the layers. You just click the F key, and it centers on whatever is currently, um, you know, uh, selected. Yes. Okay, so something happened with this bottle that I didn't want to happen when I was trying to avoid. You see all these darkness here? That's not supposed to be there. That's not good. So we're going to open up our 3D art again. And we're just going to kind of try this again. We're just going to work with the shapes. This is a part where trial and error comes in. Um, so, you know, let's see if we can get this to work better. So 3D, new extrusion from 3D layer, let's make a 3D shape out of it, uh, we go to our shape presets, you know, actually, for this shape, we could probably just leave the deformation axis to the right, because it's actually, sometimes it doesn't, it'll like make it that, which is too thick, but it's actually giving me a good space. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Let's see if we can't avoid what we've had happen. Uh, lost it. There it is. Okay. Come on. Select it. Let's rotate it around. Let's see what we have. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So let's export this again. Export selected fire as a 3D layer. Wavefront OBJ file uh, two. Make that number two. All right, so let's keep it open this time in case something awful happens. Command I to import OBJ file two. F to center. Okay, this looks much better. See, it doesn't have like the, the gray thing. There's not like interior shapes fighting on the exterior. This is something that we can work with. So let's select this. Go to our things and let's just make it glass. Look at that, it's now glass. So, you know, let's put a decal on this glass. So we're gonna go to import, file import, place graphic as decal. Now, I already made a graphic here, so I'm not gonna show you and bother you guys with how to make graphics and decals. This is my test design, it's gross. It's got a bunch of ifs and warm on it. So basically, it imports it directly on the bottom. And what you'll notice is, sometimes you get like weird stuff like this happening, and it's just where it's placing it on the shape, so you just kinda have to move it around a little avoid all that stuff. Select the bottle and just kind of spin it around. Select the decal up here in the layers. Move it a little more. Up. Smaller. Yeah, okay. And you know what? That That's uh, that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. So let's uh, change our environment here. Let's make it stark white. Let's uh, the canvas size. Thousand by thousand, just because it's a nice square to work with. Uh, and uh, let's uh, turn on all this stuff because you know it's it's there. And that's it. You can check our render preview here. You're done. You did it all. You did it all. Uh, if you did along with me, um, gosh, you know that glass is coming in almost metallic. -looking. So, let's see if I can droop its opacity a little. The index refraction, very small. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's uh, increase intensity a little bit. And yeah, let's just render that. It's going to turn into something. So, we're going to do a uh, 
low quality PSD because that's pretty quick. You guys can do high quality. Uh, I'm not going to do that. If you want to know what it looks like, you guys can do high quality. So this is the cute models design, and it's going to save it as a PSD. And so we're going to click render. Right and that's it. That's the whole. That's the whole kit and kabang. You did a great job. You did a wonderful job. And I'm sure yours is going to look twice as good as mine. So um, we're just going to let this render. So I'm going to kind of pop in and out as it's rendering. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next percentage here. Okay. okay, so here we are at 13 minutes or 14 minutes at 5%. And it's super grainy. But, you know, I'm kind of noticing this weird artifact in here. And I wish I saw before. And I don't like it. So pretty much at this point of any render, if you're seeing something happen that you really, like, like this weird thing that's coming in from the graphic that I think is like an internal artifact. So I'm just going to kind of close that, cancel it. I'm going to go back to my design here. I wonder if maybe placing the decal will fix it. If it doesn't, oh, something. It's moving it around. Let's see. Let's look at these. That's pretty. Okay, so it's definitely something that's coming up in the middle of the bottle. Ugh. It's got to be something wrong with the shape I made. Unless that's how it's just supposed to pop out. Let's do a test. I'm going to pop in one of these. Let me see how, you know, no, no, I, should, I should do the flip cap because it's also round. I, I want, you know what? I need both of those because the round bottle is probably the best one. So let's make it glass. Let's, uh, you know, import our decal again. Test design. Oh, it's placing it way up there. Oh, put it on the lid. The rain? Okay, so let's just delete it. The bottle. Go back to import. Decal. If I could move you around, all right. Okay, so as you as you can see, there's clearly not that internal artifact happening. So it's a problem with my um, 3D shape I created, and I'm sure there's a way to fix it. But you know, that's just not what this video is about. So we're just going to change it to a nice plastic. We're going to change it to a plastic bottle instead, and we're not going to mess with any transparencies. And I think it's going to look much better. Wow, it's a long load. Yeah, it's a. Uh, okay, I'll probably skip all this. Okay, so I had to. My, my it, it stopped working, so I had to restart it and close it and open it. So, all right, we're just not going to work with glass. It takes too long to process, anyways. So let's go back to plastic. Do a black plastic. Do a white plastic, so we can see the graphic. Um, import graphic again. It disappeared. But now, now it's back. Oh, oh, it's back now. Let's move it around. Okay, it's lagging. Oh, yes. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so let it catch up with itself. We get back in. For those of you who don't know, I'm using a laptop on this, so it's not really the best computer to be using this program. Uh, you know, everything that comes in kind of you know, weird, but uh, okay, let's render this instead. Do a low quality. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's already looking really grainy, but uh, 
So I'll check back in at the end with you guys, and we'll see how nice this looks. And, uh, well, as you can see, that rendered really quickly. It's already done. It only took a minute and a half. I'm really surprised by that. Uh, let's uh, open in Photoshop. Oh, look at that. Now it's in Photoshop. We have a file. Um, let's check out our image size and see what we got. So, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty big. It exports at 72 resolution. If you want to make something for print, you've got to change the canvas size to really big. Like, uh, like, about, like 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. And that's going to take a much longer time to render, and you have to render high quality. But, you know, this isn't what this is about. So this is our thing. Let's go to our layers. You know, we got some layers. we got a folder of weird stuff that I don't understand. I don't know what that is. And then this is our bottle. This is our isolated bottle. Uh, you know, move it around. And obviously this looks really grainy because I did a low-quality render. Um, if I did a high-quality render, it would look seamless and beautiful. But that's it. That's uh, the whole video. Okay, so if you're still tuning in, um, I figured out how to solve that issue with the glass. Uh, you know how the decal is sort of placing inside of like, the interior of the glass or something like that. So basically, this is how you fix that. You want to go to your scene, you want to open up your layer that has the bottle, and you've got all these layers that imported from Photoshop here. Uh, you just kind of want to find the extrusion layer first, go down to your properties, make sure it's open, and make it opaque so you can see what's going on inside of it. So now it's going to be one or more of the rest of these layers that's making this happen. So let's try making them opaque. Oh, that one didn't do it. That one didn't do it. That one didn't do it. That one did it. Well, I wonder what other these other things did. This one didn't seem to do anything. That one didn't seem to do anything. Well, that one also apparently shows the middle. So the uh, middle is appearing on this one and this one. So now it's all invisible. Let's go back to extrusion. Make it visible, make it super not rough, and let's make it glass. Yes, this, this is right. This is what we want. So now we're going to go up to File, Import, and Place Decal at this point. And then it's going to place it really prettily at the bottle. Obviously, we're not looking at that side right now, so let's go back to the bottle. Rotate it so we can look at it, and that is correct. Size it down a little bit, and let's just see how that looks as a render preview. Um, and that's it. That's how you fix that problem. That's how you create a shape that works for Design CC and import it. That's how you import decal and place it. And uh, you know, again, I'm running on a laptop, so my render times are not the best. If you have a desktop then you'll probably be able to render much quicker than me. So, yeah, I'll just kind of let this render out a little.